Well, here is the big puzzle of the game. Now, it, as I said, it was a timed puzzle, but the timing will not start until we start uh, fiddling with the knobs here. So, what we're going to do... Save our game here. So, these three screens on the left, the three knobs on the right, there are three lights just below the knobs, which indicate what level you are on. The first knob adjusts the frequency at the current screen, in this case the first one. The second knob adjusts amplitude. The third knob adjusts which of the screens is being controlled. Our job is to adjust the right frequency at the amplitude on each of the screens three times. All within the time limit. So, here's a step-by-step -step guide. First, we're going to need to turn the first knob a little to the left. Where we could become the waves become yellow. Now we turn the second knob a little to the left. The waves are blue. Turn the third knob to number two. Now here we'll turn the first knob to three o'clock. Second knob to 11 o'clock. And turn the third knob to number three. Which we turn the first knob to 10 o'clock. There. 10 o'clock. Then we set the second one to 8 o'clock. Now we're on second stage, okay. So we need to turn the first knob to the little to the left. Okay, so it seems as if Okay, so we don't die if we fail to do it all within the time limit. So I'm just gonna run through this as fast as I can. Hopefully I can get it.
go. We tune the spirit radio. protect my daughter. You knew what happened to her, and I couldn't trust you. Not the man you'd become. Well, what's my connection with Donnelly? Is that me? You are who you want to be, Tex. When I used the transinducer on you, it restored you to whom you were. Don't go back. Tell me how to get my memory back. I can't do that, Tex. You are the sum of your memories. I took things from you. Repressing your dark memories was my way of atoning for what I did. How do I destroy the immortal coil? Find the frequency. The one I found. The one Tesla found before me. It will destroy itself. There'll be no way they can stop it this time. Here, if we don't do it in time, we will destroy the world. Now we need to stop that, but first we need to discuss how we're going to do it. What we need to do is we need to turn the knobs so that the waves turn a red color. As you can see in the first one, the first one's already yellow. So we need to go from yellow to red instead of yellow to blue. make it in time. I don't think so. was unexpectedly demolished to make way for a new hyperspace bypass. I see you're back again. This is getting old, Murphy. Now, go back and try not to get yourself killed again. Okay, so... 10 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 2. 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3, and 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Then 9 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Then 4 o'clock, 2 o'clock. One o'clock, two o'clock. Then ten o'clock, three o'clock. Then 
3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Then 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. We did it! Dalton ain't getting paid enough to shut it down. <laughs> well, maybe he is. What a good look. What a good lackey. Wow, Dalton's a dick. He's gonna shut the door on both of us? That door's closing a lot faster now. Da 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 Wait, did anybody see the translator make it out there? I take a long elevator ride to the surface and make a few calls to get some help. It's a pretty good time to reflect on all that's happened. It's obvious to me that Margaret injected me for a reason. She knew the man I'd become over the last seven years had become too treacherous to trust anymore, and she was right. That night of the injection, I must have made a deal with the devil to betray her and Mason, and the 50 Gs were my 30 pieces of silver. Margaret knew instinctively I was going to betray them, and that's why she broke away earlier. But I think she also knew that the man I was seven years ago would do the right thing and try to stop the translator. That's why she only erased my memory for the last seven years. I guess each of us had sins we needed to atone for. Now I've got to find out how all of this is going to play out. doing here I put a tracking app on your smart Alex when you let me download that video of Bowers serves me right for trusting a cop you've been tailing me the whole time no I wanted to trust you I really did but you're a suspect in some unsolved cases and I thought possibly and quite likely you'd go back to your old MO at some point Tex Murphy you're under arrest you're arresting me for what 
with the murder of Jim Slade and another as yet unidentified male. I didn't have anything to do the with The bodies it. were thrown from Coit Tower, and we have witnesses that saw you leave the scene immediately after. Now, I can explain that. It's... I understand. Slade was a very bad man and probably deserved it. But I told you before, I won't tolerate vigilantism. Lieutenant or Hitch, good acting. I have something for you. Evidence of a mass murder that took place at the Tesla Legacy Society. It's related to at least three unsolved disappearances in your jurisdiction. That's very interesting, and we'll talk about it as soon as I make this arrest. No, hold on. Slade is the one who led this mass murder. You have evidence of this? I've got everything. Eyewitness testimony, sworn affidavits, even security video of the attack. You can resolve a bunch of cases and give closure to the victims' families. And in exchange for this evidence? Let Tex go. He's done nothing wrong. I saved the world! If he'd come to you, you wouldn't have been able to do anything. He risked his own life to do the right thing. I think he's a hero. This is the last exception I make for you. Well, fine by me. I mean, when am I going to find myself in this situation again? You get those files to me? Right away. Thank you, Lieutenant. Let's do lunch. <laughs> so, you saved my bacon. I kind of like your bacon. Well, I, I'm just not used to somebody saving me. But that's what partners do, right? What do you say, cowboy? Yeah, what do you say? Mm -hmm. I say it's <laughs> been a while since I saddled up, but I like your form. I think you'd be impressed with how well I performed down the back stretch. Well, I must say you're pretty impressive coming out of the gate. It all depends on who's in the saddle. Are we talking about the same thing? I know what I'm talking about. Maybe it's not a perfect world, but it's the best I've got. I might have been somebody else over the past seven years, but I'm ready to leave that behind me. I've been given a second chance and I intend to make the most of it. I sense this is just the beginning of something bigger, and what comes next may not be easy. But then again, what is? And so ends. Tesla effect. Thank you so much for co coming through me with this ride. Going through Tesla effect. I'm sorry we couldn't find the last candy comic. If we did find the last candy comic, we would have had a whole extra day. Day 13. Which is extra content. More or less just uh, extra bonus stuff, kind of a uh, well done, here's some good nostalgic stuff for you. I may have to go and look at it if I want to, and if I do get there, I'll make sure to record it and upload it to YouTube for all of you guys. Thank you all so very, very much for watching this with me. I'd like to thank Chris Jones for bringing this uh, great series back to the fold. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. Please be sure to like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more gameplay by me. I'm going to let the rest of these uh, credits play out so that you can pay homage to all the good people who have worked on this game.
Excuse me, Carter. Clapper? Does she clap on or clap off? Not safe for four. Nike Pride? Jill sure makes a man bold with her catering. your programming here at New San Francisco Voice Channel 6 for an urgent bullet. A tragedy in our fair metropolis today is all three members of the Knights Templar without a K have been found murdered in the sewers near Telegraph Hill. The images we're about to show are graphic and may be upsetting to some viewers. This trio of self-proclaimed superheroes have, according to their blogs, been protecting our city from the forces of darkness and, indeed, violent crime is down almost half a percent putting our crime rate only slightly higher than Syria. Recent tweets from the victims describe battles against an invading army of Morlocks, the fictional characters from H.G. Wells' time machine. When asked to comment on the slain crusaders, one police officer at the scene said, quote, hell, they probably killed each other on accident. So while we may not have witnessed the gallant exploits of these stealthy vigilantes, or even once experienced the terror and destruction of demon spawn, it is with a heavy heart that we here at the New San Francisco Voice say to the Knights Templar without a K, thank you. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Hard-boiled private eye.